Hello everyone, Danas here with Action VFX. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to do this dark energy wall effects in Adobe After Effects. We will be using elements from Action VFX collections such as Icon Lens Flare, Small Scale Smoke Plume, and of course, Energy Balls. One of the Energy Balls, which is Energy Ball number 5, you can actually redeem for free for our Halloween VFX challenge. So, you can check this out in the description below. Anyway, without further ado, Let's get started with a quick tip. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to add an energy ball to our plate. For this, I'm using energy ball number 2 and then let's find a time where the energy ball is already formed and offset it forward. And then let's position it to the middle of our hands. And then let's colorize it by adding hue and saturation. Dial in the master hue until we get the color that we want and play around with the saturation at lightness a little bit. And then add glow. I'm going to reduce the intensity to 0.1 and then reduce the threshold to 2.7 and then increase the radius to 113. Perfect. Now let's turn it to screen and there we have a bright purple energy. For the dark energy, I'm going to use energy ball number 5 that you can get for free for our Halloween contest. And then we're going to turn it to subtract and now we have our dark energy ball. Again, let's add hue and saturation and dial our master hue until we get the color that we want and then play around with the saturation at lightness and then let's add glow again let's reduce the intensity to 0.7 and reduce the threshold to 80 percent and increase the radius to 120 and then i want to create a circular mask on the middle of our dark energy ball and then subtract it that way we can retain the core of the bright energy now, to add more variation to the dark energy, I want to duplicate it. And then on the duplicate, I want to scale it down and also turn the opacity down and then rotate it just to make it different. So now we have a little bit of color issue, which is our first dark energy ball is way too dark. So we want to lift the black levels up. Unfortunately, because this darkness is the result of the blending modes and not just color correction, we cannot just add color correction effects to our energy ball and fix it. We need to add adjustment layer and because we only want this color correct to only affect our dark energy let's duplicate that layer put it on top of the adjustment layer to use it as a luma map so add curve to our adjustment layer let's lift the black point up here but then we're going to add two points in the middle of the curves there to isolate our color correction to only affect the darkest part of our energy ball so now let's add more volume to the energy ball by creating a white solid, put it at the bottom of our elements, and then mask it around the size of our energy ball. And basically we want the energy ball to look like it is full of energy. And then let's add some smoke from our small scale smoke plume. Turn it to screen. And we want to find the part where our smoke is plumbing and mask around that area to create some sort of smoke atmosphere and then add tint to our smoke to mimic the color of the energy ball and then reduce the opacity a bit and then we are going to add some heat distortion effects so create a solid and add fractal noise increase the contrast a bit and scale it down and then let's alt click to the evolution and add expression time times 500 to animate our noise perfect then add a bit of fast blur and disable our fractal layer and then let's add adjustment layer and add displacement map put our fractal solid as the source and then play around with the displacement a little bit and then we want to mask out only the area around the energy ball perfect so now let's strengthen our glow let's create a solid around the color of our energy ball let's disable it for a second and then we are going to create a mask around our energy ball let's feather it out and then turn the blending mode to add and then we want to reduce the opacity really low and we have an extra glow. Now let's add one of our icon lens flare collection, turn it to add and put it to the center and mask out only the hotspot of our lens flare. Reduce the opacity a little bit and we are done with the energy ball. And that was a quick tip on creating dark energy ball effects. Don't forget to enter our Halloween VFX challenge to redeem some free VFX assets, flex your VFX muscle and a chance to win some cool prizes. More info about this in the description below. And once again, if you want to purchase all of the other assets that I used in this tutorial, you can check out our website 
at actionvfx.com. At ActionVFX, we provide high quality VFX assets for your VFX needs. We have fire, explosions, energy, and many, many others. You can also sign up for our Action VFX subscription starting at the low cost of $14.99 a month. This is the most affordable way to access our library and you can cancel anytime, no contract. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section below what kind of tutorials that you'd like to see next. And see you next time. Bye-bye.